Alvarez here, Wrestling Observer Alive. Mike Sempervivi is going to join us here soon. His uh, channel made the most horrific, horrifying noise when he logged in, so we're switching him to a another channel here, and then we'll get on our way. All three competitors, the final three, have been decided in the AW Women's World Title Eliminator Tournament. The AEW Women's World Title Eliminator Tournament. Got that? Ryo Mizunami defeated Yuka Sakazaki to win the Japanese side of the bracket. Second U.S. semifinal, Thunder Rosa defeated Riho. She will advance to Monday's final against Nyla Rose. That match will air on AEW's YouTube channel at 7 Eastern tonight. The winner of the Rose vs. Rosa match will go on to face Mizunami on Wednesday's live AEW Dynamite in the tournament final. Winner of that match will go on to challenge AEW women's champion Akar Shida for the title. There he is at Sunday's Revolution pay-per-view. I was about to give up and just do it myself, Mike, but you figured it out, so. Where are you? Yes, mm, I actually was, you. You actually was literally going to stop yet? reading about this women's tournament just to hook you up. Mm, By what? <laughs> Go ahead. Mizunami punched her ticket to the tournament by submitting Maki Ito and defeating Aja Kong by count-up first two rounds. So there you go. Apparently there were some issues yesterday, and I don't actually know what they were, because I guess... So apparently the show was going to air on BR Live all over the world. That's what they announced. And then I think, and someone I'm sure it's going to clear me up here, but people that were overseas couldn't watch it. And apparently there's like a BR and a BR Live and there was some rigmarole or whatever. But anyway, it got all messed up. And so Tony Khan went on social media and said, Sorry, I'm just going to put the whole show up on YouTube. So if you've not seen it and you don't have BR or BR Live, it's up for free on YouTube right now if you want to watch the, the show. It's an hour and five minutes long. It was good. I liked it. I thought the matches were were good. And I was I was mildly surprised. That uh, that Riho did not win, but she didn't. Not not Riho. Thunder Rosa beat Riho. I thought Yuka Sakazaki was going to to win, but she didn't. But anyway, the matches were good. It was fine. I mean, what do you want me to say about it? I thought it was pretty good. <laughs> you got to be very careful talking about this women's wrestling. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't say, oh, it was the greatest women's tournament I've ever seen, somebody's going to come after you, which I'm expecting today. But I thought... It was pretty good. That's what I thought. You know what I'm saying? I feel well, like I'm entitled to have that opinion. You, you That's are. the way it used to be. If anybody comes after you, just, you know, say that, you know, if you get back into a corner, they're coming after you with pitchforks and torches. You need a way to get out of it. Just say, hey, I, too, think there needs to be more women's It was not a AEW booking Dynamite. disaster. I shouldn't even have looked at the chat. A booking disaster? Get Is out that of what here. they're calling? Did you call it that? Or no, are they that's what it says that? right here. It was a booking disaster, Brian. How is it a booking disaster? Uh, probably because Maki Ito didn't win. Uh, that's probably it. Yeah, well, Ryo Mizunami has been around for a long time. She was trained by Mako Satomura. And, hey, look, Yuka Sakazaki's got a pretty good following. I think she's going to be a star once the, the doors open up in the States. I think she's going to get a really good following. Obviously, Maki Ito's got a, a following already of a cult level. Riho's already over to the AEW fans. So for them to introduce another member or another possible person to get over here in the States, I don't think it's the worst idea in the world. And she has been around for a long time. She, I don't think she's got really any top flight matches that I think you can really pull from and go, this has been a great five-star match that Mizunami's had, but she's very, very good. And like I said, again, it's it's probably got to do with her experience level as well as the fact that, you look why, why go back to the well if you don't need to? Why don't you give somebody else a chance to try to get over here? I will say, I mean, I thought that every, especially those, and the, the multi-woman match as well, but... I thought that for the most part, every single one of these women looked better than the Great Ocon. God, just still beating on this. Just want to throw that in there. That's great. <laughs> then I got, you, you I got don't another like guy. It. We know another guy. The, the Twitch chat goes. I don't know what everyone's freaking out about. A Great Ocon will be fine. 
Yes, he will be fine. He's fine now, and I expect him to remain fine. He is not the next Jay White, nor is he the next Okada. Who's calling you, guys Brian? know anything about... I had a bit of our big argument the other day. Oh, well, you know that uh, uh, when Jay White returned from excursion at the at the Tokyo Dome, he had a worse match with Tanahashi than Great Okan had with Tanahashi the other day. Which, by the way, I don't think is true. But that was a fine little argument to, I guess, put over that Great Okan is the next Jay White no, or whatever. You wanna, if you want to point Come one on. out, if somebody wants to point one out about a bad, you know, re-debut, it would be... Okada coming back with the Rainmaker gimmick facing off against Yoshihashi, who was not as anywhere near as developed as he's been in the last year. Uh, if somebody wanted, again, this is what Britt Baker, as far as, you know, uh, got the award for biggest improvement. I mean, in a way, Yoshihashi could fit in that too with how well he actually did la all, the, all through last year. But. I don't know why this is such an issue for so many people. It's not even a, an arguable point. This guy is at one point in his career right now. He was not brought back even to the level of Goto was when he came back and re-debuted with his new gimmick. So I, this is just taken, this has gone to like comedy at this point with people planting flags over the great Okan. It just seems to be a big waste of time. I do like a lot of these suggested names here, such as... Uh... Twitch homie Goody, which is actually his name. Twitch homie Goody. He suggests the all right Okan. I'm cool with De that. Dees Okan. The fine Okan. These are all these are all acceptable names. I have no star problem. Con. I don't know if I'd go that far. <laughs> oh, I didn't God. say average Okan. You're I said pathetic. fine. This is Although he pathetic. is average. So anyway, New Japan is going to be unifying the IWGP heavyweight and intercontinental titles into a new title. Naoki. Sugabayashi, the New Japan chairman, states the heavyweight and intercontinental titles will be unified into a new belt. There's going to be a new belt, everybody. The great OK is making me laugh. Very, so. very, yeah, the great OK. <laughs> that's, that's, that's fine as well. Uh, good work. See, we make fun of the Twitch homies, but there's actually a lot of smart ones. <laughs> the, the dumb ones stick out is the problem. But anyway. So they're going to make a new belt. So all of you that bought your very expensive New Japan IWGP Heavyweight title replica, well, it's history now. It's a throwback. And yes, it's a throwback. They're going to be a, they're going to create a new belt and it's going to be called the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship and Kota Ibushi will be recognized as the first IWGP oh. World. So does that mean like whoever beats Ibushi they're not going to go the 49th. So it's going to be like we're starting over at 1 I hope not. That's what it sounds like to me, dude. Well, if it is, it is. You know, if that's what they decide to do. I don't think they'll do that because then you lose all the history of giving uh, the roll call and the music at the beginning and, and showing all the former champions. I mean, it's just kind of funny. It's like, you know, Fritz throwing down the American title and now we got the world-class world heavyweight championship. I mean... It's really the IWGP title, the IC title. This is a separate story. I mean, I think they should be merged with each other. But I think most people have looked for the past God knows how many years at the IWGP title as a world heavyweight championship anyway. So, you know, I think it's just really, a you know, it's just a matter of, uh, you know, whatever you would call it there. What well, do you call that? I don't know what you're talking about, Mike. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's so anyway, uh, they did announce here. This is very disrespectful. Uh, Suga Bayashi suggested that Ibushi is going to be making his first title defense of the new title against the winner of the New Japan Cup. Sucks to be desperado. Talk about overlooking that poor bloke. If you love these video clips, head down there to the bottom right-hand side of the screen and click Join. For just $7.99 per month, you get full access to all of the episodes. Over 300 at current count. Full-length episodes of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, and Figure Four Daily with both Lance Storm and Filthy Tom Lawler. You can also hit that subscribe button, and you'll always be alerted as to when new shows are available.